Hey everybody, it's Santa here, Sunday, December 17, and I just got kind of a different kind of video to show you, because, uh, I don't know, you're probably bored of seeing the same thing every day, maybe some of you, uh, I don't always have exciting things to show you, but uh, I did a video a while back on all the Philippines money, um, I explained all the currency, all the different colors, how much they're worth. And uh, I also told you about the new bill that came out. This came out during the pandemic. Uh, I call it plastic money, but it's really made out of a, like a PVC. Uh, well, let me show you. Right here, it's a thousand note. It's called the Night Owl. The night owl is partially see-through. See that? You can see my finger going through there. This is partially see-through on this side. And then uh, here's the reverse. Pretty cool. It's a pretty cool note. Uh, I forgot where it's being made. Uh, I don't think it's being made in the Philippines. I think maybe somewhere else. I can't remember. I googled it. But I can't remember. Anyway, for those that don't live in the Philippines and never seen plastic money, it's pretty unique. Uh, like I said, it came out in the pandemic, so you could wipe it down. Doesn't get germs. I mean, check it out. Uh, here's our sink over here. Watch. You know, running water. Can't do this with regular money, people. <laughs> totally nothing wrong with it I mean if you were a bank robber and you stole a bunch of money you could bury this you could put it under water in a deep deep under the ocean and come back in uh, 50 years if you're still alive shake it off and it'll be as good as new amazing the night owl uh, these even work in the ATMs. I used an ATM the other day and just got a whole bunch of them. Uh, I actually think they're more and more being circulated now. You can see the water just beating up on it. But uh, you can't destroy it, really. I mean, you could burn it. It's But it's like a PVC material. It'll last for hundreds of years, you know, it's a good idea, they won't have to keep making it, and it's probably really, really hard to, uh, fake, although I'm sure people are trying, there's always going to be people trying, but the thousand's the only one they do that to, uh, the thousand is the biggest bill they have in the Philippines, if, uh, if you guys don't live in the Philippines and don't know already. It's uh, basically a $20 bill. Uh, so you can't get any bigger than a 20 here. Like if you're buying a car or a house or something really big, you just get a, you get a bunch of thousands. That's all you get because they don't have anything bigger. The thousand is the biggest. Uh, because it's too hard for uh, most places to make change if you had like something equivalent equivalent to the hundred dollar bill or even the fifty dollar bill in the u.s it would be too hard to get change some people even have hard giving change to it from a thousand especially in a small province so they have thousands which are twenties they have five hundreds which are ten dollars and they have uh one hundreds which are equivalent to two dollar bill um and then they actually have a 200 too, but you don't see too many of them. That's equivalent to maybe a $5 bill. Uh, but like I said, they, there's not too many of them in circulation. You see them every once in a while. Then they also have a 20 peso coin. That's uh, same, as a, um, same as a 20 peso bill, which is pink. And uh, they also have a 50 peso bill, which is like a darker pink, almost a red. Um, that's worth one dollar. 
So basically 50 pesos to the dollar here, even though it fluctuates. Uh, I think right now it's 55 point something. So uh, that's good for me. Good for uh, exchange rate. Uh, <clears throat> but many, many years ago, I guess during the war, it was uh, even even much higher. I think we we're getting even 100 or more for the dollar. 100 pesos or more. So that's double. But I don't know if we'll ever see that rate again. You never know. You might. But I just thought it was really interesting. It really interesting how the Philippines do their money. It's really easy to figure out here. That's another reason a lot of people choose to live here because the money's so easy to figure. I mean, you go to somewhere like Thailand and you need a, a million baht just to buy a loaf of bread or something. So you have to carry around a ton of money and it's really hard to figure out. So that's a big complaint about like Thailand and stuff like that. But uh, there's other places that are complicated too, but Philippines is easy because they only have like five, six notes and they're all real comparable to how much the U.S. notes are. So that's it. I just wanted to show you that. One last time, plastic money. As you saw, I put it in the sink. Still good as new. You can hear, you can hear it crackle. Just listen to it. Pretty amazing, people. I thought it was when it first came out. It was pretty rare. Everybody was going, wow, that's pretty cool. But now there's tons of them in circulation. So that's the way of the future, I think, here in the Philippines. Uh, I don't really think Bitcoin's going to go over too well here, even though people do use it. Um, but I don't think the uh, the dollar or the uh, the paper notes or the coins will ever really go out totally just my opinion that's it for now everybody like and subscribe it is free i hope you enjoyed that hope you uh got a kick out of it if you've never seen plastic money before leave me a comment especially people in the u.s or other places that never seen this before okay god bless everyone that's it for now santa claus over and out